Hello guys, remember me? I'm Orbator, your Welsh engineer, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Kerbal Quest Part 4, Building the Jewel Explorer. But first off, before we go and do that, now if you remember in the last episode, or if any of you watched the last episode, we had this, the, the jewel station, I had had problems getting anything docked to the jewel space station because we had run out of fuel as we were getting there and that was because I put everything in high orbit and if any of you know anything about Kerbal Space Program you know that if you put anything in low closer to a planet you can make use of the all birth effect so that's what we did on the last try of trying to get this science module to the space station yes we're gonna have to do redo all the other ones because they're just floating around there in fact we could do rescue missions rescue rockets to rescue the two modules, at least one of them. The other one's just the same as this one, which is the science module with all the heater-relieving elements, which are traditionally called radiators, on there to relieve any radiation that we have from Joule or any heating. Because I'm assuming that at one point, what I want to do is do an experiment and see if that inflatable heat shield will be awesome to use to get in orbit around Joule. It'll save a lot of fuel. And I won't be doing it just yet, I'm going to say, alright, we're going to get this far, dock this many modules, build the Jewel Explorer, get the Kerbals over there to land on a moon. Yes, that's what we're going to do with that Jewel Explorer, is land on a moon. I hope you find that's good enough. Um, yeah, well, you'll see, I've already started building this Jewel Explorer. Anyway, let's get into the comments as we get this docked up. And the first comment we have is from Josh Chab 2002 when did you start playing KSP and how many hours have you played it? I don't know how many hours I've played it. The problem is I've downloaded the game directly from the Kerbal Space Program store, so I'd never ha used it on Steam before. Now, I've got a Steam copy as of late because you had uh, version 1.1 that you could only play on Steam because of uh, the problems upgrading and whatnot through the store. So what I've done is I bought you on the KSP <laughs> Steam, and that's getting off story. How many hours have I played? I don't know. I'm trying to remember, was it 2013 I started playing it? Version 0.19 came out. And it, and I think it was just after that came out that I started playing with it. And it was, I discovered it from uh, PC Gamer magazine, which was, and that's the name of the magazine, by the way, PC Gamer. Awesome magazine. However, it's all in digital form these days, so. Buying stuff from the magazines isn't why we do things. But yeah, I spent many hours playing it. I played it on my laptop first before I had my desktop fully set up, so... Oh yeah, by here, I didn't have enough fuel to deorbit this, so I had to use the RCS to get on the apparapsis to get the periapsis height down before I could let this burn up in the atmosphere, which you will see now. <laughs> Lovely destruction of things. Let's get into another comment and then we can start building the explorer. From Pyro Trek Andres Andrezetsky. Uh that's probably not correct. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't see the bottom of the planet. <laughs> anyway, have you got a Steam version or that one from the official Star Wars page? I just answered that, haven't I? I've got both now. Please add me as Avos. I think you are about adding you as a Kerbal as Avos. Yes, I will. I will add you as Avos. And talking about Kerbal names, you can see the two Kerbals we got there. I installed a mod called Kerbal Renamer. And I didn't realize at the time that the Renamer doesn't actually rename the Kerbals. It actually does procedural renaming. So I'd have to... I'll have to... I installed that mod. I'm going to have to work out how to install... Uh, Rename Kerbals easily. Okay, and we have some problems with this first launcher. This is the one of the first landers. No, I I staged the decoupler before we staged the uh, the fairing release, and the decoupler was in front of the fairing release, so everything collided. Not very good for our mission. And I was curious, will that Kerbal survive? I was going to write them off at first, but I thought. No, I'm going to keep this as a failure rather than revert flight. I'm going to keep you all guys in there. So this was going to be two of you guys. I was going to rename them. So I'm going to do the age old trick of coming down for landing for well, explosive landing, I suppose you call it or crash, whichever you want to call it. Yeah, and by here, I'm looking for the other Kerbal. I thought it would be below us, but no, he's above us. 
there he is. And we're going to use the RCS tanks, uh, RCS tank, RCS tanks to RCS to try to relieve uh, speed. And you can see I switched between Kerbals doing it, and we both survived. Awesome stuff. Now let's get them back and start that mission again. Okay, off to space we go. This time he's a mech chair because I don't trust myself. But let's get into another comment. Great idea to name missions after subscribers. I was on about Kerbals, but we could do that if you want to. Let me know in the comments below. Crash me into the man. Okay, I will do. Was it Gavin Campbell? Sorry. Yes, I'll crash you into the man if you want. Seriously though, I've managed to send a probe to Jules' atmosphere. But it just bounced up and down at an altitude that that I now forget. And it exploded when time accelerated. Could you do better? Love the videos. Keep up the great work. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. I love the compliments on these, on these things. And not to get too big at it. I won't say I'm the brilliant at this game. I try my best. I'm trying to improve my commentary as well. But I like to bring you guys on the ride as well. As well as in playing the game in the comments as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where it's going with that. But where are we? Yes. Just bounced up. Could you do could you do better? Love your videos. That's a good idea, actually. I'm gonna do an ex sort of like experiment video. Um not experiment. Experiment in this Kerbal Space program. Uh, in this Kerbal Quest. On what sort of like uh, how high we can go into the atmosphere with a space probe or something. Design help me design a mission. Tell me what we should do, what experiments we should do in the dual atmosphere, you know, it's like what, how high things burn up? Will a probe survive if you get so low? Can we do a permanent base? In fact, I thought about that. Building a permanent base, base uh, sort of like floating in the atmosphere. Because you've got the Hooligan Labs uh, floaty balloon moddy thing, which you can float a balloon up. That would be awesome, actually. If you could do that, docking would be a nightmare, but that would be absolutely awesome. I could have to do some investigations into that. Yeah, that might be our mission. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like that. I think that'd be cool. From Rock Navak, as we finish docking that, our first lander and deorbit will probe. Don't worry, you're not going to watch all this bur all these burn up. <laughs> right, from Rock Navak. Best care speed videos. Cheers, buddy. He spits a smiley face and a bit mast or aether. No? Anyone? Okay, I'll show myself out. <laughs> yeah, so you've literally written that down. And by the way, this is the next lander, because I can't have one lander on one side. I have to have equal weight on both sides of that ship, otherwise this blasting off and whatever towards Jewel would be unequal. Yes. So yeah, but Master... Mast Orbiter, yeah. I, I realised that when I made my username, that the <laughs> Someone may come up with that joke, but yes, I was waiting ages for it. And thank you, uh, what's your name again? Sorry, I've got your name. Rak Novak. Yes, thank you. I spent ages waiting for someone to come up with that. I don't mean literally ages, you know, I realized that mas Master Ator or something could come up at some point. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That. Let's get into a comment as we dock. Who have we got in here anyway? We've got Tim Offer and Kathy docking to the Jewel Explorer. Don't worry, their names will change. And I suppose most of you may. I'm gonna have to find something to rename Kerbals and change sex or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I'll hopefully there is a mod out to that. It may not be updated to version 1.1.2 yet, and that's why I haven't found it. Anyway, from Nisha Nishanath. Johanna Nathan Can you add me? Can you add me? My name is Nishanahana. Yes, talking about Kerbal names, I'll be adding your name, so don't worry. Once I get round to do it, I thought a Kerbal rename would do it. I did do it on camera in this episode, but obviously I found out things weren't to the working you know, rename or renamed the Kerbals to thing. And I thought about going into the files to rename Kerbals after you, so you'd automatically be generated but then I realized that you'd go on perhaps different missions than you wanted to or your net you'd have multiple use in there or uh, I don't know I don't think it would work properly so that's I'm gonna have to do something about that 
Even if I have to go in manually and rename everything, everyone, that's fine, I'll do that. Okay, from Joseph M. Jubarls? Jubarls? <laughs> Jubarls, that. Jubarls, Jubarls. Like ju gerbils, but ju Jubarls. I was trying to try rack that in my brain. I'm sorry about that. But that's the way you call now. Jewel barrels. Is that kerbals? As in jewel balls? That's what you called? That's your, uh, you know, all on this missions are the jewel balls. Going to jewel mission. I don't know. That sounds cool, actually. Let me know in the comments or whatever. Let me know if you like that term. You know, all you go on this mission will be called jewel balls. Going to the future of. Uh, Kerbals to jewel colonization. Colonization. Oh yes, and look at this thing. This is our engines. That is going to get us to jewel. And I've had to put it upside down because I had, as you can see, I have this jump cut. That the engines are backwards because there's four on the back. And yes, look, no! Died. <laughs> I staged a couple of rockets to go at the same time accidentally. Mech Jeb does not stage things properly if, if you haven't got the station correct so yes do watch out for that so we lost a lot of engines there a lot of money a lot of relaunching and as we're getting into space let's go into another comet so from theo w i would it would i said i swear really it would be cool i said i would be cool if you could make a base on jewel and that's what it's all about we could do a base floating and the clouds of jewel that would be super awesome if you could do that. But I'm I'm worried that if you have something in the atmosphere, that it won't be loaded in the game, because it's floating, it might say that it's too low, it's going to fall down, or whatever. From Stefan de Gast, anyway. Hey, smiley face. Hey, back to you, and smiley face double to you. From John Wing Tingley, 2001, a space oddity style mission where you visit monoliths around the Kerbal system. That sounds quite good. In fact, I'm not sure if there's monoliths around the Jewel system, in the Julian system. That would be cool, you know, we could go visit them. And I do plan, that's why I call the Kerbal Quest then rather than Jewel Quest, that we could go to other Kerbal plants. And I knocked the mic, I'm not sure if that picked up on the audio, but sorry about that. So yeah, I'll, I'll do that, but I'll be sort of later on. We've got a lot to do. I want to colonize all the moons. We can explore them as we go along. Anyway, from Bla Bradley Burnett. <laughs> Bradley Burnett. I volunteer for the jewel mission. And yes, you will be added as a Kerbal for the jewel mission. I'm not sure which moon you'll be landing on or what, <laughs> but we'll work something out. From Yuval 88 Fish. If you could, if you would name a Kerbal, Add me to the list, please. My name is Yuval. Yuval, you shall be added to the special list for the Julian mission moon landing. Detail. From Matthew Murmur. Moom. Boom. Sorry, I'm not sure if I have to do this one. Matthew Murmurt. You seem to be running out of fuel a lot. Have you considered using Eve as for a gravity assist on your way to Jewel? I'd love to see what you could do a tutorial on that sometime. On, I'd love to see a tutorial on that at some time because I always mess up a map. And in fact, I done sort of like a trial of it, not on camera on video. I was planning on having a look, and it's hard. You have to have Eve in the right place, and then you have to be able to get the jewel from Eve in the right time. But what I was trying to do is gravity assists where you'd have less, you know, like NASA does it. They don't hardly do much fuel burning after the gravity assists and all that. So I found that quite hard to do. I planned to go it's like past Eve, then past Duna, and then on to Jewel or something like that. That did not work. Oh yes, and I staged by here. Prematurely staging. Because I wanted that last stage to deorbit. Yes, that did not work out well. Look, we're, we're rotating. I thought, by it, we'll. We'll see if we can get this into orbit. Trying to keep control of this and trying to keep yourself in orbit. Well, it wasn't too hard. Staying in orbit wasn't too bad. We just had to wait for the fuel to run on the large engines. Neither to say that we do get into orbit. Anyway, as we are trying to swing. There you go, yes. 
we're in orbit as well. And by here, you can see we come into problems. Tried to disable after getting a rendezvous with a spaceship thing. Staging didn't work. No, I tried the staging, decoupling the node on the... They're, we're just swinging out of control. The RTS, the SAS was... No, we lost the engines. That's not good. Oh, well. Yeah, that was when I switched ships. I thought perhaps if I switched to the other ship, I could sort of like swing that out of the way and destroy the coupling that was holding it all together. The space tape, I think it was that. That's the main of the problem. And yeah, we lost it. But I found it. But it's got no docking port, damn it. And there's no way of attaching a docking port. Anyway, let's go to uh, some comments. From David Mason. I find it mind-blowing that we can... That we can send things into space and send things to exact position. It's like trying to find a grain of sand in all the oceans. In fact, it's probably worse than that. Smaller than that, I mean. Yeah, I launched the other mission and got to rendezvous again. But here, we're going to attach it now to the back end of the Ju Julian Explorer 1. Yeah, it's quite hard. and But NASA do it all by computation and stuff. Which is how things work. It's... You know, it's amazing, then they do corrections on the way. Correction burns, if you would like. Anyway, as I'm losing my mind and my comments because I just clicked off the page by accident. Okay, I'm back. I found out my tablet crashed on me, so I had to reboot it to get the comments back up. <laughs> From Ruchir Power. Nice video, thanks for showing MechChip for planet interplanetary transfer. That's no problem, it's quite easy tool to use MechChip once you get used to it. So, yeah, thank you for that. From Jake McLar McLaren. Please add my name, no problem, I will do so. From Sak Saksham Solanki. Uh, <laughs> you should make a space station on Kerbal for refueling a spacecraft, which you go into Jewel. Yes, I should do, actually. And you pronounced my name correctly. Hope I did it the same this time. From Monkey Taylor, you should try to land in Jewel. Oh, and I get into orbit of the man now. Yes, awesome. <laughs> when you get your first orbit and get your first... Uh, what do you call it? Successes. It's an awesome feeling. Yeah, and this is a bit slow. As I'm docking this, so yeah. You have to bear with me, but it gives me enough time to answer comments. From Tijin De Jong. Hopefully that's right. Nice videos as always. Can you add my names to Jewel Quest? I shall do so as well. From Lego One Man. You should put a rover on one of the moons before you go and please add my name as Lego One Man. Yes, no problem. I shall add your name. And yes, that's a good idea actually. Before this mission is sent out, or perhaps I could send them both at the same time. We'll send a rover out there onto both of the moons, or at least one of the moons, depending which ones. It's going to be one of the small moons for this mission. And perhaps a refueling spacecraft, because I'm not sure if we've got enough fuel even for this. Huge engines on the back. From Mike J. Do you use Kerbal X craft sharing? And what are your favourite crafts? No, I don't use Kerbal craft. Uh, and I've only used, downloaded one craft, I think, before. That was a Christmas sort of thing. I was going to do a video, but I didn't. So, no, I haven't used that. I've used Cursed, in fact, to share craft. But I've stopped doing it because it's something I have to keep on. I've got work, so I can't do that all the time. From Hero Queen for a task. Great videos. Keep them up. Can you tell me what mods I installed? Yes, I will try to remember to put the mods in the thing, and I've told him what mods I've got. From Yosef Isermax, can you please call Kerbal Destel, please? Yes, I shall. And from Blue Mage 6, you read my comment. Haha, -ha, I'm going insane now. Why only people can't be read my comments? Checks out, could I never does. I should be does, he just can't answer. He gets to me to answer. Anyway, this is the end of the video. Sorry, hi, we haven't gone to Jewel this time. But anyway, I'm more to trust me, I'm an engineer. And if you like this video, crank that like button like an engineer. <laughs> Sorry, it's a rushed outro. Anyway, see you next time.